I started about the business of trying to stand up a makerspace here in the College of Computing and Informatics and open the doors of the place. And one of the people who came in the doors was uh, Richard Chi. And one day I came in and asked him, what are you making? And he turned around and said, well, I'm 3D printing a prosthetic hand for a nine-year-old girl in Texas. I had personal reasons for, for building that device. I got connected to a nonprofit organization in Chapel Hill called Helping Hand Project. I worked with them to start building these 3D uh, printed devices and looking for uh, a local place to print uh, and make these devices, I came across the newly opened Makerspace. So a Makerspace is a room with machines, but it's also a community of people. Some people see this space as a place to play and tinker. Some people will see it as a place to express themselves. Um, some people see it as a place to help people. And the Helping Hand Project is um, a project that helps people very directly. Dr. Chi, he brought up the idea, talked about how Chapel Hill had started a club called Helping Hand Project and thought that it would be a great idea to have that kind of club at Charlotte, to have a student-led organization dedicated to building 3D prosthetics using the devices here on campus. Hands-on, designing something, putting it together, putting hours into this room um, to build a final product that could be given to a kid and trying to get it as perfect as it possibly can, um, there's something just uniquely special about that. The first prosthetic that the Helping Hand Project delivered was to a nine-year-old girl in Texas, Amy, and the family sent back a video of, of Amy with the arm. There are a lot of things that you do in, in research and you try and get good results and try and get publications, but it is very rare uh, the moments that are sort of heartwarming, uh, like, like seeing that you have actually touched somebody's life in, uh, in that kind of way. And the same thing uh, with Landon, to see the light go on in his eyes when he gets his, uh, his new robot hand is uh, incredible. Thank you.